Welcome to the MBS TV. This week, I'm the Mega Server Crime Fighter. We're going to shift gears a little bit and head back to last Saturday's Pitfall Wrestling Association event to look at the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame induction ceremony for one of the class of 2014 held at Lafayette High School.
Good evening, Land Fair. Can everybody hear me okay? And normally I'd come out here and tell you all how lucky you are to see me, which you are. But tonight, right now, is about a little bit something special. About a close personal friend of mine who has sacrificed in this ring, in this building before, who left a legacy around this area with his high impact matches, with his work, with his work ethic, and he put on great shows for each and every one of you. We make a lot around here and in pro wrestling about brotherhood, about being brothers with the boys in the back, about the close ties you get with these guys. And I'm fortunate to say that I have made some of my best friends in my life in this building, in this business, in this ring. With that said, probably the guy that I am closest to now, that I've been closest to for several years, my best friend and a guy who I consider a true brother, finally gets to be honored an honor that is so due to him that he worked so hard for. It is a complete honor of mine to be able to present this to him. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'd like to introduce you to the new inductee to the Nosebleed Seed Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. A Hall of Fame I might add real quick that I'm a charter member of. I'd like to in introduce you to this year's inductee to the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, Michael Shard. In that, 
he said, he and I both agreed, that we would never do wrestling again. Not because we did like a humble accord, but just because we didn't want to do it again, because once again we thought we did what we wanted to do. Well, he decided to, he decided to take part with PWA. And that speaks something to a guy who, who did always as he intended and he did it with purpose. So PWA, I hope that everything is special tonight. I hope you continued success. I hope that, I hope that this place one day is packed and the rafters start to fall and the roof starts to shake. That's what I hope for this place. For all of you tonight, I hope you enjoy your show. I want you to know that anybody who saw me wrestle, I did it because every time you scream, it made me feel so good. I also hated when you booed me. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the show. Coming in March 2015, the Nosebleed Seats present the 8th Annual NBS Awards. We will travel to the arenas all over Central Illinois to honor the Match of the Year, Tag Team, Most Popular, Most Hated, Referee, Manager, Feud, Diamond in the Rough, Golden Microphone, Wrestler of the Year, and to make inductions into the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Nominations are open. Visit CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com to learn how we can all honor the best in Central Illinois Pro Wrestling. Catch Ray and Butter Superstars to Muscle Chumpa, Moose, Silas Young, and Cedric Alexander at High Risk Wrestling at the Bell Claire Expo Center in Belleville, Illinois, 200 South Belleville, Sunday, February 15th, 4 p.m. Bell Time. Go to Facebook.com slash HRWSTL. Bring Ground Pro brings pro wrestling back to Lobford Theater at 225 West Main Street in Van, Illinois on Saturday, February 21st for New Frontiers. See Jeremy Wyatt, Mark Sterling, Yellow the Clown, Marion Fontaine, Kyle Matthews, Mario Creville, and Ring of Honor top prospect Jake Dernan defends the franchise championship against Blake Steele. It all happens at New Frontiers at the Lawson Theater on Saturday, February 21st. Come here, the New Frontier of Bring Ground Pro in Havana. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the second half of the program, I present a lost interview I conducted way back in July. I had intended to do a round robin of interviews episode at some point, and this was left in limbo, so let's dust this off and hear from this tag team for the second half of the NBS TV. 
We are here at the Marora City Hall. We just had a uh, wrestling event, Pro Wrestling Glory, in the books. And this duo here made their debut. They were not victorious, but there's always another day, and there's a lot of matches yet to come. The duo of Bo Sawyer on the left and Josh Steele on the right. They're calling themselves Rough Cut. Both of you have been kind of um, obscure in the Central Illinois wrestling scene. You've always been around, but you've always, to me, kind of flew under the radar. Uh, tell us about yourselves. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Go ahead, you can take Well, I talk, uh, I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, I uh, started, what, about the start of this year? Well, probably uh, the start of this year. Came in at UWC. Um, I started this tag up. And we just been going on from you know there with this tag. Yeah, it was and something I uh, I I've been wanting to get into a tag for a long time because I like doing same you know the singles run and uh, I've known Josh for a while now and you know things that just uh, it clicked it turned out right and uh, you know we're still early in our uh, tagging and everything but uh, I think we've got a good formula good uh, good chemistry in the ring a little bit we can work on some more things and uh, I think we can be a pretty good established team in the area. But tell us about you individually as wrestlers. Now, Bosario, you've been around for quite a while. You had a different ring name years ago, Cody Ray Strong. <laughs> yes, that guy. You replaced that. You've <laughs> yeah. been kind of a fixture down at um, IWA Unlimited. Um, just tell us, how long have you been at it and uh, where all have you been? Oh, wow. Besides the two places I mentioned. <laughs> right. Uh, definitely the IWA, you guys, I had run with for years and years. I'd actually started uh, up in Paris, Illinois, when it was in let's see, NCW with uh, Ice Cold Outlaw. Uh, some of the guys there were uh, Blake Reed, uh, Kenny Taylor, a guy that some guys know as uh, Chris Cross. He's since changed his name to uh, Christian Rose. But uh, a lot of guys out of there ran with them for a little while, then moved to, or well, I didn't move, but I uh, started training with the guys who weren't only when the late great Bud Chaplin was still alive. Um, trained under Intimidator Josh Totten and uh, homicidal Stephen Davis, who I pretty much call my dad in wrestling. And uh, just kind of been around. Um, I wrestled at the Coliseum in Evansville for about five years, uh, weekly, uh, different spots, and uh, wrestled over in SAW for Nashville. Um, different little uh, independent bookings here and there. Been with UWC since day one, took a little bit of time off, but now I'm, I'm back in every week. Uh, anytime the doors are open and we run a show for UWC, I am there all the time. So. Josh? Uh, I started about, uh, I think it's about, been about two and a half years um, that I've been in this business. Uh, started off my training, uh, got trained by a referee, Ollie Tharp, and Mike Guess which unfortunately we both know that I'm no longer with them uh, due to circumstances, but I'm not going to get into detail. But uh, ever since uh, I started wrestling, I've been you know, with UWC, started off, came in a couple times as a face, uh, New Wave Pro, CWF, NXW, um, here PWG, uh, and just IWAU. And, a whole bunch of other places. I'm just trying to get my name out, you know, and uh, learn this, learn about more about this business, you know. And pretty much, uh, I started off. I came in last year, solid as a UWC member. Right. And I'll tell you what, like I've learned so much just being with these guys, and they've taken me places that you know I was wanting to take a long time ago. And I'll just tell you what, they're a great group, group of guys, and um, I owe it to them, you know. And uh, I work my you know butt off, uh, you know, in and out of the ring, you know, four days a week in the gym. And, uh, getting back to it. Getting, getting back to with it, it yeah. <laughs> uh, but all in all, like, I'm just, you know, I'm just... I'm, well, that's about it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, Josh is doing the. He's doing great. He's a UWC weekly. Um, he's been there with a lot of guys he can learn from. Uh, a lot of veterans such as uh, Harker Bridge. We both have learned yes. a lot from Harker Bridge. I can't thank him enough. Um, but uh, just learning, just working, uh, you know, doing the ins and outs of the business, and just uh, loving every minute of it. Just enjoying the ride. And like both said, you know, uh, about the whole tag thing was, I've always been a huge tag team 
fan. Like, even with uh, Marty Janetti and Shawn Michaels, like, they were my favorite tag. But, yeah, they were my favorite absolute tag. That works. Uh, I'm a road warrior. I still guy. watch them to this day. <laughs> but, uh, like he said, you know, I've, I've always wanted to start a tag, and I talked to, you know, Jason about it, and we came up with this whole rough cut. How did you come up with the name? Uh, the name. How did we come up with the name? Actually, that's funny because we were down at TSW one time, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna tell them the story. Oh boy. Uh, we were down at TSW. Yes, I'm gonna do it. And Tri City Wrestling. I was doing uh, this move, the RKO. Well, <laughs> I went for the move in the match, and Bo here decides to do a stunner instead. It didn't take it very well. <laughs> so we started making fun of the name, like Jagged Edge, Jagged Ass, and then like Rough Cut. It just kind of clicked. It just came about. And that was probably when I first started. What, about two years later, we kind of pick it up and we're like, hey, let's be real. Let's, let's use this tag <laughs> team, you know, as so, a name. It's funny how things come about in wrestling. It's just a complete fluke. But hey, the name works. Uh, we're going to run with it. So Exactly. It's getting over with the fans. The fans either hate it or they love it. Right. You know? I think and they kind of like this here, but they hate us other places. Yeah. yeah that's fun. It's fun. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we're evolving. We're an evolving tag. Hopefully, you know, we'll get our run. And uh, we're just going to go for the tag team champions. Now you are UWC tag team champions now, right? Yes. Okay, your thoughts about the other champions around Central Illinois. We'll start off with the king of tag team wrestling right now. Who They've won the Tag Team of the Year award three times and on track to win a fourth. The Hooligans. Hooligans. I love the guys. I know Josh doesn't have very much experience with the Hooligans. I've, it's been a long time since I've seen Devin and Mason. Um, Honestly, would absolutely love to work with the guys. I know one also, can we learn a lot from them? Yes. But at the same time, I think we can give them good little competition yeah, yeah. and would absolutely love the chance to work with them. <laughs> Thoughts about the main Mike and Jam Boys, the champions here? The Jam Boys. I'll let, you I'll let you talk about it. I'll talk to you about it. Uh, I don't know much about them. I do know Madman a little bit. Uh, He's a big boy. He's a big, he's a big boy. But, uh, uh, but I mean, you really can take this one because I don't know a whole lot about them. You know, I've known the guys for years. Uh, always, even before I got into wrestling and everything. But hey, it's uh, you know, it's one of those things that's yeah, you gotta love it. But uh, <laughs> hey, it's a uh, if the opportunity arose, we would love to step foot in the ring with the Jam Boys and see what we got. All right, there's another team. Well, there's the current Dreamwave Tag title champions, ACDC. That'll be Eric Cannon and Darren Corbin. Darren Corbin and Eric Cannon. I, don't I love the guys. Them either. Yeah, it's. Uh, I I'm, I'm the fresh guy. Yeah, he's a fresher guy. Um, would love. I mean, know the guys personally. Awesome guys. Uh, incredible competitors. Have been around for years. And uh, yeah, it's it's not gonna be no fear, no anything. It's a learning experience, but also it would be absolutely a shot to step in with an established tag team that has been traveling around. And I would absolutely love, would love the chance to get in the ring with ACDC. And I actually love the band ACDC, so it means that much more to me. Lastly, the team that was supposed to be your opponents tonight. You only got half of them. We got half. Yes, Express. Yes, Express. Well, we we both have been in the ring with uh, Periwinkle. Uh, we actually defeated Periwinkle and Tony G down at UWC for our UWC Tag Team titles, uh, for our UWC Tag Team Championships. I can't talk. <laughs> um, PS Express. Who is it? Scotty Keys? Yep. Scotty Keys. Okay, I'm about to know. Because he said we didn't have any keys, and I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about. But... Um, oh boy. See, I don't know much about Scotty Keys, I'll, I'll admit. But, uh. You know, we came in, what was the May show? Uh, and we watched their match. Right, right. And yeah. how they turned. Right. And, and all that. Yeah, you know, so, a little underhanded tactics, but hey, you know what? Every, every dog has their day. And one of these days, I think we'll, uh, we'll come back here to Morona, and, uh, I think we can step in on PS Express and we'll see what they got. All right, anybody you like to, anybody you got your sets or sights on that we hadn't already mentioned? I would like to face the Hooligans. <laughs> I, I honestly, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, the Hooligans would definitely, I would love to work an attack match with the Hooligans. Yeah. I mean, so hopefully, I've uh, watched some of their stuff on maybe YouTube. one day uh, going down the road, maybe our uh, paths will cross and uh, we can get that done. I would absolutely love that. Any other tag teams, you know, out there that's, you know, worth, you know, learning from and 
you know, just everything you can about this business, about with being a tag. I'd love to work. Definitely. I'm always down. Right. All right. Most memorable moment in your wrestling career thus far? Thus far. Thus far, your most it's memorable. It's going to be shorter than mine, so you go ahead. <laughs> Probably actually coming into UWC and getting to work Hill for the first time. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good guy. He's too it's, nice. It's actually, it's been fun. Like, I've learned a whole lot just by being a Hill. And, um, being a Hill? Yeah, I really enjoy it. Being uh, bad's fun, you know? I like oh, the oh, guy. you said Hill, not Heel. Oh, yeah, like Heel. <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't know. You, if if you don't have yours much, uh, mine pretty easy. It's actually mine is actually a tie. Um, meeting up with Jerry Lynn before he retired uh, down at CCW over at Coliseum in Evansville was one of the greatest things ever. Such a nice, incredibly nice individual. We got to work in a tag match with him, and it was probably the most fun I'd had until I actually worked Eugene. Uh, Nick Densman. Yeah, I did absolutely nothing in the match, and it was it was a blast. The place erupted, went nuts for it, and easy, fun. And he has an incredible Hulk baseball jersey that I'm going to give him those days. I'm telling him. But uh, probably that was probably the most fun I'd had. Just for fun alone. Just being in the locker room with Eugene, you know, you learned a whole lot just by being sitting there talking to him and right. psychology wise and. You know, just a lot of knowledge. A lot right. of knowledge. He's probably forgotten more than most guys in know in business today. So you know, especially like younger guys starting or like midway through, they think they know a lot of things. He's he's forgotten most things that And I thought of another one. I'd like to say uh, I, I really enjoyed facing Harker Burge at UWC. And I not only once did I face him, but in the short amount of time that I faced him, I've actually got to face him twice. <laughs> and, 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 the way Travis Weir talked, you know, the second time on the way down there to face him, uh, he told me that, you know, Parker's one of those types that doesn't work, you know, guys right off the bat, you know, like that. So I felt, to me, that was a huge increasement, you know, just showing, like, you know, me that I'm capable of being in the same ring with him and, you know, working with him and stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely very much thank you to Harker Burge. I got the chance to wrestle Harker at UWC 6 for the uh, UWC title. And, uh, real big main event, real big, big show of the year for UWC. And, uh, I absolutely loved it. And I thank him very much for putting up with me. So, uh, it was a great, great, I loved it. All right, where can promoters go if they want to bring in Rough Cut or? The individual members of Rough Cut. Um, well, let's see. I believe we're uh, both on Facebook. Uh, mine is under Bo Sawyer, and also um, on Twitter at CornFedBeast. Also, you can email me at, or it's not at because that's a Twitter. Um, <laughs> you can email me at uh, for bookings, uh, BoSmash82 at gmail.com. And my name is Josh Steele. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at RealDealJSteele. Or you can email me at steel.josh at yahoo.com. All right, Rough Cut. News tag team in Central Illinois. And there's a tag division in Central Illinois stronger than it's been in years. So you got a lot of, uh, lot of uh, healthy competition to face in the future. Good deal. It's just a start. All right. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.